a story you can't turn your nose up at. The Mythbusters get themselves skunked in the name of science. I think it's working! And Adam and Jamie have bulletproof materials in their sights. Who are the Mythbusters? Am I missing an eyebrow? Adam Savage. I reject your reality and substitute my own. And Jamie Heineman. Quack, Jamie. I wouldn't say Jamie's an evil genius. Between them, more than 30 years special effects experience. When will the fun ever stop? They don't just tell the myths, they put them to the test. First up, a myth from the mists of antiquity. This time we have what I believe is the oldest myth that Mythbusters has tested. It comes from the 3rd century BC, right from the line of the famous scientist Archimedes. And the idea is that Archimedes apparently utilized the sun's energy and mirrors to set fire to enemy ships during the Punic Wars. Making a solar-powered weapon? Sounds right up the Mythbusters alley. Haven't people speculated that he got his warriors to use their shields to create the mirror? Absolutely. That's one of the main theories, and it is the very first theory that we are going to test, and that is ancient bronze shields. The plan, use sheets of bronze to focus the sun's rays on a Roman warship and see if they can set it on fire. Anyone spot the wrinkle in the plan? Roman warships, or triremes as they were known, no longer exist outside of Hollywood. What is the actual thickness we're looking for? What's the thickness of a Roman trimary? Adam gives the build team its biggest challenge. Try and construct part of a trireme using only materials available to the Romans in 215 BC. The key factor here is actually... 